Question 1. So how many students are represented in this diagram? Well, that is all of these numbers added up together. So 13, add 2, add 1, add 14, add 6, add 5, and 8, giving us 49. How many students are studying English and maths only? So here's the English circle. Here's the math circle. Well, we've got the 2 and the 1 in both circles but obviously this one is also in the history circle so so for the students who are only studying English and maths it is these two students here they're the only ones who are studying English and maths only How many students are studying English and Maths? Well, that then is our three students, because these students are studying English and Maths. OK, this one happens to be studying uh, History as well, but so, so be it. That's the reason the difference is here. That word only makes all the difference. Right, part C. What is the probability that a student chosen at random is studying Maths? So we want all the students studying maths divided by the total number of students. So all the students studying maths, regardless of what else is studying, is everybody inside the maths circle. So the 14, the 2, the 1, and the 6, and that's 23, divided by the total number of students. That's all the numbers here. That's what we worked out in part A. That's that 49. So our answer we can give as a fraction is 23 over 49.